be a list of what we it. actually paid out of our pocket for campgrounds. Every penny. Or LTVAs or whatever for the whole year. Yes. We paid the $180 for Quartzite for the long-term visitors. And that's up for six months. But we only stayed, what, I can't even tell you, four months? Back uh -huh. and forth. I mean, we left and came back and left and came back and did other things. Yeah, that's a long-term visitor's area down around Quartzite. There's four of them south of Quartzite. You've got Imperial Dam down by Yuma. Um, there's one other one, I believe, over in California. I think there's five or six of them around that area. You can find them, no problem. And you can go out there. It's dispersed camping in the middle of the desert. Uh, the one that we stay at is La Posa South and they have the water and sewage and dumpsters there so we usually go there to stay we meet up a lot of great people out there and know a lot of people so uh, uh, that's 180 dollars make sure you take exactly 180 dollars cash, you cash. Uh, be, or check if you if you like but uh, they don't take credit cards uh, the rangers up there uh, they count, they, don't even you, touch the they money. put the money up there, you count it out for them, then you stuff it in the envelope, and then you drop it in the drop box. They never touch it. But if you don't have the $180, then they won't give you change the, either. You can't give them two, no. two $100 bills. Well, I guess you could throw two $100 bills in there and if you want to donate right. $20. Right. Now, you can also stay there for 14 days for 40 or excuse me, seven yeah. days for $40, oh, we, if I'm not right, mistaken. Right, it is. So you don't have to pay for the whole. But once you, buy, once you buy the LTVA sticker, it's good at all the other ones. So you can go back and forth to Yuma, uh, you know, to Quartzsite, over to California. So you can use that in different areas for the long-term visitors. This has nothing to do with, uh, with uh, BLM land, state trust land, has nothing to do with it. But one thing that's good about it is, because if you go to BLM land out there in Quartzsite and you stay for the 14 days, you have to leave and go, I think, 25 miles out. Uh, don't quote me on that. But 25 to 50. You have to go and you have to be gone for X amount of time. So if you go to another one, but then you can come back over here and stay, then it doesn't matter. Then you don't have to go 25 miles and find another one and stay. So if you want to stay in the Quartzsite area, you can you can go here and then go meet your friends and go to the different places and everything because it doesn't matter because you don't need to worry about the 25 mile difference. Right, like Pomosa Road, you, you, you can only stay there for 14 days, but then you've got to be out of the system or away from that area X amount of time. So you go out there and stay two weeks, you, you're running low on water by then anyway, or your tanks are getting full or, or, or whatever pack up go back over to the LTVA and, right. and dump all your stuff you've already paid for it you don't have to pay for it in town where it's getting to be 15 to 20 dollars when it used to be cheap over there but now they're getting expensive so think about that when you're going out there if you're going to stay there for a while okay so we, that was 180 dollars well we paid 1250 beaver dam in Minden which was the place that uh, Sharon and Bobby had actually found too from the uh, Nomadic Ramblers. It's originally $25 a day, but if you have the America the Beautiful Pass, it's $10 off, which made it, um, what, made, what was half price, it was $12.50. I'm sorry. No, actually that one was, we had to pay $15, I apologize. We thought it was going to be 12 it was going to be $12.50, but we paid $15, remember, because I brought the 13 up right. there, whatever. Okay. So it was $15, so we got $10 off. So we, I'll have to adjust this by $2. Yeah, what it is, it's a Corps of Engineer park, a lot of Corps of Engineers parks. So think about using those on your on your trips. Uh, there's a lot of them throughout the United States, and uh, it was a great little park. Then we spent three days in Meridian, Mississippi at the Twilly Branch Campground. It was $18 a night, but with the America the Beautiful Senior Pass, you got it for $9 a night. So that was $27 for three days, full hookups. The COE, COE one was also full hookups. No, didn't have sewer. It didn't have sewer, but this one, neither one of them had sewer. No, Twilly did have sewer, didn't it? We just didn't. We just didn't use it. I thought they had a dump station on the way out. We okay, maybe use. so. But they, they both had water. And um, electricity, and electricity, and 50 amp. So it was a great little spot, nice, nice area, uh, nice lake. You're camping right next to it. Blacktop asphalt road on the way in. Nice level parking spot. Some of them are a little tricky. Check out our video we did on that. Um, but uh, we enjoyed that one pretty good too. It's not too far off the uh, main interstate 20. 
The next one was $15 in Winslow. We stayed at Mac Hood. Now, personally, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I would not recommend it. No, it, Mac Hood Campground used to be free. That, uh, that's what reason why we went there and we found out that they're charging. So we wanted to go see Winslow and check it out. And that was one of our best options around there. Since we were going right through the area, we wanted to stop in Winslow, Arizona. So we just went ahead and paid it for one night. We felt safe uh, parking. There's a camp host there. Yeah. Uh, I did a video on that one too, so you can kind of check it out. Um, but uh, dirty, it, it's, trash. I don't know. I don't know why they started to charge. Um, uh, I don't know if they're trying to keep people out of there uh, that are taking advantage of it. They're supposed to be getting grants or something from the government uh, to help out uh, make renovations or something out there is the reason why they're charging. And if you think you're going to go out there and camp and and not pay you better have another thing coming because they'll tow you away in a heartbeat signs all over says you need to pay and they got a little automatic pay box you can use a credit card up there give you a little ticket but it's not a bad area just for one day right it's just it's just trashy and and, and they don't maintain the, the it was horrible i don't know what the camp host does out there but the grills are full so i don't know if it was just a bad day that we were there but, but the grills are full full of trash not like other things i mean it was full of like people emptying their trash and stuff i mean yeah and they have a trash dumpster there so and a bathroom and i don't know what the what the issue was but anyway it's an it was just some maybe it was just a bad week I just don't some place we had to pay 15 dollars <laughs> yeah. for and it was 15 dollars to sit there and look at that okay but we got to see winslow and that's all that mattered to me um then we went to lola palooza in dallas texas we stayed for four days that was 140 dollars. hey lola hey everybody it was a great time we yep. really enjoyed it. Yep, that's one hundred and forty dollars for the thirty amp. Thirty amp had water, uh, but no sewer. Uh, but they did have a dump station that you could dump at. That's just south of Dallas, off uh, uh, Interstate twenty. Um, but we wanted to really go see and, and meet some more people, and it was on the way back. Yeah, we were going through this way almost. So. so we didn't have a problem. You can pick your spot. You can do reserve. Uh, you can reserve your spot on, on the government webpage. Or, it was a great time. So, yep, it was well worth the forty dollars. There's a lot to do out there. One hundred and forty, so, not forty. What, yeah, what was it? Was it forty a night? I can't even remember what it was a night. But we stayed there for like four or five days. One hundred forty divided by four. Okay. <laughs> All right, then we came back here to Louisiana, and this is where it killed us. Louisiana really has no BLM. It has no free camp places. I mean, you even the KOA does not even have a monthly rate in Baton Rouge. So we came to Hammond that we always, we always come here every year. This year, it was $500 for the month. Now, we have all full electricity and, you know, the sewage hookup. We have everything, but... Five hundred dollars is a lot of money to us. Yep, but we don't have no options, and plus right. some of the areas you don't want to stay in. Uh, yeah, we even know this if they area. were free, so you got to be kind of careful uh, you where be you park in South Louisiana. <laughs> plus, you know, you got critters out here. You got gators and, and snakes and all kinds of stuff. So, we thought this would be the safest area for the whole month. We wouldn't have to worry about anything. In fact, we're parked right next to the camp host. Right. Great camp host people here. Yeah, very nice. They're trying to get everything done around here that they need to get done. So just remember this, guys. We paid 180 for a quartz site, 1250 at a COE, 27 at a campground, 15 in Winslow, 140 at a state park in Dallas, Texas. Wasn't that, um, it wasn't Cedar, Cinder, Hill, Cinder, Cedar, Cedar, Cedar Hills. Hills. And then to come back here was 500. Our total price that we paid for the year was eight hundred and seventy four dollars and fifty cents if we would not have came back to louisiana we would or have or stayed at the long term or went to lola palooza at the, at we'd the, have spent nothing we would have spent under 100 bucks for the whole year for the year you and think we about traveled that. we live in this full time yeah we so travel full time we traveled all over now granted i stayed at my sister's Three place months, yes uh in my cousin's place up in uh, uh uh, Washington State, which is we enjoy it and we appreciate them very much. I stayed at my sister's house, another sister's house, down in uh, Patsy Junction. That was only for a few days, and then her, she actually came with us, and we would go out like to Florence to we some more BLM couple, land. We stayed there a couple weeks, right? But I mean, we stayed there during Christmas last year. Mm -hmm. So you know, you know 
But you can you can mooch dock. But we're, what we're trying to tell you is, you can go out there and find these free spots and, and not have to pay absorbent numbers. I mean, we didn't even talk about Cabela's or, or Walmart's or Cracker Barrel or anything like that. We could do a whole one on that. In fact, I think Cracker Barrel or not Cracker Barrel, but Cabela's is one of our favorite yeah. places to stay if you if you're in a metro metropolitan area. We haven't stayed at a. Um we haven't stayed at a Walmart since we were going last year, but yep. we stopped in for that. I forgot what the, where, where were we then? Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Uh, there's a lot more out there that we didn't even talk about. No, it just goes to show you can spend as much as you want or as little as you want, but you can still get out there and do your thing. That's right. So stop the madness. Start the adventure, guys. See you down the road. Bye.